tucked away with church bells ringing, birds chirping, and silence, St. Joseph Abbey is home to many. There's just something about when you come over the bridge, I hear people tell me all the time, whether they're here for a business meeting or an old friend that's coming by to see the monks, there's just this peace that you feel. And that peace was met by waters. On March 11, 2016, waters flooded St. Joseph Abbey and Seminary College and damaged 31 buildings. The Abbey is known for its cypress caskets, and Deacon Mark Kudrain was working in the shop we, on that uh, day. We spent the night in there. The water came up about two feet in the um, woodworking shop. Uh, so every piece of equipment, for the most part, was affected. The losses may exceed $30 million, but it opened the door to rebuild. The silver lining on it is now we have all these beautiful buildings. We're still in that process. We still have a few more buildings to go, but um, they had a, had a new building on campus, I think, in like 40 to 50 years. It becomes honey, and at that point, you can On the sweet side, light. Jeff Horkov has been buzzing up business for Abbey Honey since before the flood. The waters wiped all the bees out, but it didn't stop him. It really made me more diligent in the effort to grow the bees, so that's what I did. I was very aggressive in, in going and taking bees out of people's houses and catching swarms and just bringing them to the Abbey. The Abbey will be focusing on four main buildings with much patience for funding and gratitude for the help from the community. Caitlin Cleveland, PAC News.